Whoa! All the angels are here today. Yes, you see the pot, you see the water, you see the liquid falling down. It is all about liquids, water is life. But today we are not discussing about cancer. Welcome back to astrology, exotic astrology, once again. Okay, so we have been continuing the discussion of the houses and the zodiac signs and we just did a video on how to use astrology secretly <laughs> to improve our relationships. Okay, so today we will continue with the description of our zodiac signs. Today we have reached the 11th. Yes. 11th house, we have reached the sign of Aquarius, which is the favorite sign of Saturn, which is ruled by Saturn. Saturn rules two signs in the zodiac. You know which are they? Yes, you just saw it two days back. One was Capricorn and the other is Aquarius. Capricorn is work, status, reputation, name, fame, your duty, commitment, sense of belonging, etc. Yes. Now, what is Aquarius? Aquarius has two rulers. Let me tell you. One is Saturn, of course. Which is the other ruler? Is it Mars? Is it Venus? Is it Sun? Moon? No. Aquarius is co-ruled by the sign, the planet called Rahu. We will discuss what Rahu is and who Rahu is okay, later in detail. But I will just give an outlook overview of what Rahu is actually because without Rahu you cannot understand Aquarius Aquarius is all about Rahu and Rahu is all about Aquarius but Aquarius is Rahu combined with Saturn yes so it is a bit difficult to understand this sign is more uh, at times very much misunderstood I will give uh, I will try my best to give a good explanation to this sign now what is Saturn Saturn is our duty our responsibility, our commitment, our work, our responsibility, what we do, okay, our karma basically, what we do in life, that is represented by Saturn. Primarily, the difficulties in life is also seen by Saturn, okay. And what is Rahu? Rahu basically is obsession, is materialistic things, is our desire to achieve something in life or other our obsession to achieve something in life okay that is Rahu wherever Rahu is sitting the obsession can be there regarding those areas okay now then what is the sign of Aquarius well it is the original 11th house of the zodiac belt what is the 11th house we have discussed earlier what is 11th house 11th house is the house of gains fulfillment of hopes wishes and desires it is the house of marriage it is the house of children it is the house of money because primarily a man uh, or a woman desires money and uh, good relationships right these are the two prominent desires that people have so everything is seen from the 11th house okay so now what does this sign of Aquarius represent because of the Rahu's connection to Saturn these people are very eccentric number one trait now who will be eccentric those who have planet prominent planets like the Sun the moon or the Lord of the Ascendant. If you do not know what is Ascendant, go back to my playlist and watch the video. But if somebody has these planets in the sign of Aquarius, okay, they can have interest in uh, unorthodox things. Okay, they can be very eccentric. They can be uh, at times uh, be different. They will be known as somebody who is very different. Okay, somebody who is very unique because Rahu is that uh, planet which gives. Uh, out of or out of the box ideas different ideas unconventional unsocial or that which is different from the norms of the social order the social uh, structure at that time okay so uh, because of this the element of uh, eccentricity is there in this zodiac sign so uh, what it means is these people are very good when it comes to uh, doing things in a different way okay now we will serially discuss about this for example it is a air sign okay because it comes in the 3 7 11 that part third house seventh house eleventh house Gemini 
Libra and Aquarius are air signs. So they, they represent air signs represent what? Communication, talking, ideas, people, relationships, meeting others, social life, okay? Pubs, friend circles, events, family events, gatherings, large gatherings. And 11th house is what? Large organizations also. And uh, because it is an air sign, but it is a fixed air sign, okay? Gemini is a dual air sign, Libra is a movable air sign, and Aquarius is a fixed air sign. So, because of this fixed component within the air sign, these people are extremely solid, they are very concrete. They, whatever they say, they will do it. That is the difference between a Libra and a Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Libra Gemini may speak big things, but when it comes to doing, they may shy off from there. Okay, it does not mean they will not do, but Aquarius are the people who make great scientists. Okay, many scientists have this planet, uh, this sign very prominent, and connection with Rahu is very prominent. I will tell you why because. When you are doing research, you need to see different possibilities and come up uh, at times uh, with some solution which nobody has ever done or uh, about which nobody knows. Yes. So then how will you do it without uh, knowing about the uh, areas in detail? Well, that is not possible. But even if you know things in detail, but at times you may be stuck by using the old conventional standard methods okay then the element of rahu comes into play okay they <coughs> can do something in a very different way in a uh, very different uh, with with a very different approach which uh, other people have not uh, done it yet okay because this is a air sign so it represents ideas and because of rahu it is like magnified whatever rahu rahu is about magnification it's like blast suddenly out of nowhere so these people have great ideas and because it is an art sign they will implement it they will show it in the picture they will uh, sorry because it's a fixed sign they will uh, show it in the ground in the paper and they will actually implement the idea yes they are not only talking of ideas they will be like well sir you may talk of ideas but can you show it to me okay because it is also ruled by Saturn. Saturn is what practicality, regulation, discipline. Okay. So these people are extremely good at uh, scientific works and things which require to be done during for a long time. Okay. Now Capricorn, the Capricorn people, uh, they may be uh, just implementers or they can just execute things. But Aquarius are the people who can plan, who can see long term. Okay. Now these people uh, love to be very independent also because they are uh, uh, having the core rulership of Rahu and Rahu does not like to hear anybody it just wants to do things on its own now at the same time they can be humanitarian also because 11th house is also the house of charity and actually if you see this is the most important aspect of people who have planets in Aquarius as you see this sign the pot and the water so it shows that whatever water is there in the pot it is being given to others okay it is the sign of a man who is holding this pot and he's distributing water that means what he's doing charity he's giving away his money because 11th house is wealth okay wealth money uh, gains prosperity happiness etc uh, is the mon mundane aspect of wealth and that prosperity area so uh, these people can uh, give a lot of money away in charity or others speaking uh, if you turn it the other way these people should give money in charity because if you do not give a certain amount of money in charity then you cannot gain the happiness which you have from the existing money okay especially related to inheritance because eighth house is the house of inheritance and fourth house is the house of happiness and fourth from the eighth is the eleventh house so if you want to gain happiness from the money which you get from inheritance well, you must do some amount of donation, at least 20% or 25%. Otherwise, you will not be able to gain happiness from that money. Okay. Now, at times, they these people can be uh, emotionally uh, not very uh, interested to connect to people. Uh, they can be uncompromising at times because of Saturn, that stubbornness can be there. Okay. At times. And they like to have fun with friends. Okay. They, they are very jolly. They are very jolly people. Okay, because 11th house is the house of friends. It is the house of elder siblings, network circles, social groups, large organizations. So these people are always about helping others. 
and um, they they are always about doing things for the society doing uh, cha making changes in the organizational structure because capricorn is the authority and aquarius is that which controls capricorn so uh, capricorn people will make decisions and aquarius will come and say look uh, this decision is not going to help you so you need to change it and then the capricorn will change it okay and they like to fight for different causes and they like to have different intellectual conversations because this is an air sign. Air sign is all about ideas, talks, discussions and points, seeing this viewpoint, having the other viewpoint, having a broad uh, minded perspective on things. And they don't like limitations. If somebody says you cannot do this, they do not like it. They will say that, yes, I will show it to you now. Okay. And they are extremely... Uh, they are extremely uh, talkative also at times may not be like Gemini because it is Saturn so they are a bit controlled but they do not like boring people or uh, they do not like those people who are uh, not having any interesting ideas to talk on and even if they see somebody who is only talking but he's not who is not doing because the aspect of Saturn is very prominent here well they will be like oh I don't like this person okay and at times they can feel that they need to be alone because this is a very eccentric sign now at times these people are these people are also criticized that oh you are giving this solution but this will not work but at the long run it is always uh, useful it their ideas always count okay and because it is an air sign they will always uh, use the mind okay because it is very fast mind is very fast okay so this is the interpretation of Aquarius. They are, in one word if I would say, these people are game changers because they have the uh, unorthodox thinking of Rahu combined with the discipline of Saturn with the airy energy of ideas and new beginnings etc. Okay, So these people are extremely benevolent as humanitarians. They like to donate also. They like to do charity also. And also these people are excellent as leaders, okay, and as people who can give speech, who can convince others, air sign with the power of Rahu, they have tremendous conviction power, tremendous, okay, and this sign and Scorpio, these two are a bit eccentric in nature, okay, so if you meet somebody who stays outside or who stays inside, <laughs> depending on how you define what is inside and what is outside, uh, who is not bit social or who is extremely uh, social who is introvert or who is extrovert okay who is bit different from the crowd you understand Aquarius is different from the crowd if the crowd is saying go that side he will be saying why should I go this side I will go that side they do not like to obey those rules which will not give them happiness or which will uh, hinder their uh, progress okay and because they are uh, connected to large organizations they can also be spiritual but their spirituality is also of an eccentric type they are not like they might say that oh this religion is not giving me fulfillment in spirituality so i will change it so many people uh, this sign prominent they can change religions okay and uh, these people can be very uh, different by nature you can know if somebody is a bit different from the crowd suppose the crowd is going to a disco and they are going to pub and drinking and smoking all the time the general public these people will go and sit in a in a temple or in a place he will go and have a talk with the monk that what is life what is god what is spirituality tell me who i am here who i am what i am here for what should i do okay so these are a bit different okay because everybody is running behind materialistic pleasure they may be running behind god yes so these people are very eccentric they are a bit different okay and they should cherish their uniqueness. They are actually unique. The, this group is a unique group actually. Okay. And instead of thinking why am I like this or why am I different. Even in case of carriers, they can have some very unorthodox carriers. They can be into different fields or they can be into something which when in the initial days people hear they may say oh this thing is not never going to succeed. Yes to many big big people they had said who are big today okay when they started things initially people had said that oh you will never gain success you are just wasting time this is never going to happen you have been, been rejected 100 times but these people are like no i will do it when i said i will do it i will do it and they eventually end up doing it because of the discipline the commitment of energy of saturn which is there in them okay and they continue to do things for a long time 
and ultimately they achieve great success in life and these people are also multi millionaires businessmen rich businessmen because 11th house is the house of gains anything they do in life they will only gain it and they know how to get things done from people okay because the element of rahu is there rahu is a very tricky planet it's a very cunning planet it can do things in in a click of the eye okay so these people are extreme me beneficial for the society okay these people are the need of the hour so they can uh, go for uh, uh, causes okay they can be into peta people for ethical treatment of animals then into so many social organization for the welfare of the public they may fight against governments okay they may up uproot they may throw away the governments okay because they are very powerful because they are more powerful than capricorn yes Capricorn is the authority, but uh, Aquarius is the Mool Tricorn Rashi, the Mool Tricorn sign of uh, Saturn, which means Saturn rules two signs, Capricorn and Aquarius. But Saturn is more comfortable in the sign of Aquarius than Capricorn. So Saturn not only likes to work like a Capricorn, it likes to change the order, change the society also for the benefit of everybody. So that is the sign of Aquarius, and that's it for my side. If you like this video, then please. subscribe to my channel and click in the bell button for notifications so that you can get updates via email every day when i upload such beautiful videos and before ending as i say always that god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will be there for you and keep doing charity keep giving good things to people and then you see god will give you things in return if you give something to god he will multiply he will magnify okay he will increase it to millions of times and then he will give you back okay if you give him a drop you will get like this uh, bucket this pot which you see here water is effortlessly flowing out of it okay all the time and there are angels above this sitting so whatever you give uh, more than that you get back okay so that's it from my side if you have any questions queries and comments then please let me know until next time bye bye see you